gerai start recording, pusia. Jau? Tai tu leidi vėl video? Ne. There is no video at this point. Ok. Tai viskas jau sata? Yes, very briefly for the English speakers and Russian speakers we will speak just in English. So, live briefing for LTT Varena, the first triathlon cup stage. Uh, Mantas will present it to you. <laughs> Hello everybody! <laughs> so, uh, sorry for not having the live video. Uh, we had some internet issues and uh, so this recording is instead of that, but maybe it's even better as you have the English one instead of the Lithuanian one. Um, so, tomorrow uh, the first thing is the parking. You shouldn't uh, try to get to the very venue uh, parkings will be marked uh, with our uh, um, signs in uh, in green in yeah you should see the signs in green with the p letter you know as the parking uh, do not try please uh, to go as as near you know the the racing village as you can because well it will you will cause difficulties you know for everyone for organizers and as, as well for the participants so and for, and, for, and for yourself as well as five minutes penalty before <laughs> starting the race if you try to get to the very uh, venue to the very center of it it is within walking distance really a couple hundred meters from the parking places to get to this place where we are at uh, so yeah very basically just for your GPS reference Add it to your GPS, uh, Vito Vito Street, Vito Street, you know, in Varena, and I'm sure you will find a parking place like 200 meters from the starting, you know, from the venue. Yeah, it's like a small village. It's not everything is within walking distance. Uh, okay, so for the more important things, uh, swimming part. Yeah, what do we have in swimming? What's the new so, thing that we have this year yeah so we're trying to introduce the rolling start it's the first year we're using this um so most most of you most probably are used to this uh, from iron man and other races you have done uh, previously so we'll have four uh, um designated uh, zones zones for uh, by that that uh, are uh, divided by your swimming speed estimated uh, swimming pace so the first uh, zone uh, will be for the ones swimming faster than 1 minute 35 seconds for 100 meters uh, second zone for the ones who are at 136 1 to 45 uh, pace and the third zone is uh, the ones still below two minutes pace and uh, the last one is for the slowest ones who are above uh, two minutes space so we'll, we're not even sure whether it will be five people mm, per, per three seconds per five seconds per or five, three yeah. people per three seconds will uh, give you information regarding that tomorrow in the morning uh, as we'll still have the final a briefing in the morning uh, just before the swim start as we normally do if there are any changes as usually there is some minor changes in the morning so uh, we give you all the up-to-date information in the morning so we'll clarify regarding that yep um, so for the Olympic distance is two laps of 750 meters with one Australian exit um, so it will be nothing unusual for most of you. Uh, yeah, just a friendly advice: do not uh, uh, overestimate your capabilities. You know, in terms of swimming, uh, there will be like 150 competitors in the Olympic distance. So be friendly. You know, calculate your time and go to the according uh, zone of swimming. You know, because. Uh, yeah, yeah it's, it will help it, everyone. <laughs> it feels better like overtaking people than being overtaken by many of them. So yeah. ju just stick to your actual swimming speed zone. And uh, one more thing is the swim caps. Uh, the previous four years we used to have them for our participants with the race numbers on them. Uh, this year during due to COVID-19 
uh, we are, were not able to receive the swim caps and uh, we will not have them at this stage and most likely not in this season in general so you are okay to use your own swim caps uh, yeah we have one camera off okay we'll go to the other camera stuff happens uh, you can actually continue with the, with the okay with the so camera. so no swim caps you are uh, you may feel free to use your own swim caps from previous races that you have uh, or you may swim without a swim cap at all or you can buy one here at the venue if you if you really need one and you didn't take one with you yep everything's perfect sir so okay let's move uh, to the to the cycling part i guess yep so yeah in front of you you should have the the video you know of the cycling part of the first stage and basically from uh, Varena city it's classified as city so from Varena city you will go to the to the countryside so to say uh, to Matoizos village so one lap will be 20 kilometers and uh, accordingly for the Olympic distance you'll have to do two laps for the sprint distance one lap uh, the uh, the route itself is kind of a flat i mean the the, the track is fast uh, uh, and what else what else so um regarding the traffic uh, the first two kilometers that are uh, outside the transition um there is no traffic uh, no vehicles just you the participants um then uh, you have uh, we were using a um, regional road and uh, we cannot completely stop the traffic there for our race so you uh, should be careful um, we have our people watching all the roads and uh, warning all the drivers but uh, there will be some cars on the road in that part so you are more uh, then just advised uh, or recommended uh, we we uh, strongly suggest that you follow the road and do not have your head down all the time and uh, mind the traffic as some of it might and most probably will be there um, so no drafting is non-draft race so uh, no group riding and uh, two laps We'll have uh, race referees, uh, race marshals on the road as well. So don't risk getting penalties. Just do the best you can on your own. And um, be careful with the traffic. There's actually one place that I we forgot to mention in the Lithuanian part that uh, you should take extra attention, be extra precautious. It's the railroads. Railroads, so if it rains, it might be very slippery but uh, on the other hand you'll have the huge signs you know that there's that you should slow down on that part so as well do not go full speed you know yeah the there is rail railway crossing but uh, it shouldn't rain tomorrow actually um and uh, but actually the train <laughs> passed uh, this uh, rails today but uh, tomorrow we checked it, it's not going to be passing this uh, railway and uh, just be careful maybe slow down especially the ones who are, don't feel confident jumping with your bike that's it uh -huh. okay let's move on okay t2 and the run part maestro so yeah in the on the run it's gonna be like a roller coaster up and down up and down all the way you have four laps of two and a half kilometers in the Olympic distance and uh, two laps uh, in the sprint distance respectively so it's pretty clear um, you'll have uh, two corridors in the uh, when you exit the transition the T2 uh, if you go straight you'll have a sign saying uh, uh, on the left it's to next lap on the right is to finish so you go to finish only once in the Olympic distance in your fourth lap and in the sprint distance in your second lap so 
two passages, two corridors. You take the left one to the next lap and you finish on the right one. Uh -huh. um, be mindful. Um, after you finish, uh, do not obstruct the running uh, route for the participants who are still racing. Um, you will have a chill uh, zone where you, you may relax and enjoy the fruits and the drinks. Um, so please do enjoy the, the, this chill zone and uh, do not walk on the roads and do not uh, go to take to claim your bicycles before everyone's done racing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, just after the finish, uh, just please follow the instructions of the volunteers, you know, of the organizing team, you know, and everyone will and everyone will be safe and they have the best experience possible. Um, that's it? For the time being, yes, that's it, I guess. So the fifth season is coming up. T tomorrow we will start the fifth season. The uh, first triathlon, live triathlon race in, in Lithuania this year, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it is. So... Well, we, we hope you will have a blast here and uh, if you have any questions, you may post them in this uh, video, uh, in the comments, or you may ask the questions tomorrow, just approach me, uh, Danius or Audrius. Or anyone else with the, with the t-shirt of, you know, LDT organizing team, yeah. everyone will be happy to help. Uh, and the last note, at least from my side, if you're coming to Lithuania from Latvia, from any other country, from Poland, uh, everywhere, anywhere, take one day and stay in Varena or, you know, any, anywhere around in Zukia because it's a very beautiful place, you know, just to visit. Yeah. Lots to see. See you tomorrow. Ciao.